keys before I start today's Retro Arch setup guide. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new video and it really helps out my channel too, which I'm always appreciative of. So for the last few days, I've been releasing quick setup guides. I've done Emulation Station Desktop Edition, Retro Bat and also Launchbox. So these are going to give you a taster of particular front ends and game launchers. Today we're doing RetroArch. This is going to be a very basic setup guide and if you like what you see today I'll leave a link in the description for the full version of RetroArch and you can do a heck of a lot with RetroArch. So first things first what we're going to do is head over to the RetroArch website. We're going to go to download and if we just scroll down we're going to find a little section here we got in store 64 bit. 32-bit in store download and also a 32-bit download we got two different options here we can install it to our computer or we can download it and use it as a portable version I'm going to download the 64-bit which is going to be the download portable version so I've already downloaded this it's on my desktop I've downloaded it into a archive so what I'm going to do is just extract the RetroArch folder Okay, so after that's been extracted, what we're going to do is just delete the archive and here's our RetroArch folder. Now for this brief setup guide, I'm going to show you how to import some Super Nintendo games. As we can see, these five games I got are all in .zip and they're going to work fine. What I suggest doing is just go into the RetroArch folder and create a folder in here. So right click, new folder and I'm going to call this folder ROMs. If I then go into that ROMs folder, I'm going to make a separate folder inside of there and call this folder SNES. If I go into that SNES folder, what I'm going to do is just drag and drop or you can copy and paste your games into that folder. Okay, so we're next up going to actually open up RetroArch. We're going to find a RetroArch.executable. Here we go. Now, first time opening up RetroArch, you'll notice that it's not going to go into a full screen mode. So I'm going to use my connected controller, and this is an Xbox Bluetooth controller I'm using for this. I'm going to just go up to settings, go across, and down to video. I'm press A on my controller, and from here, I'm going to go down four options to full screen mode. Press A, and press A on start in full screen mode. And here we go, we're now in full screen mode. Now, if I press my B button to come out, and again, we're going to use D-pad to go to main menu, and I'm going to just suggest going to configuration file and saving your settings for this full screen. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do then is actually import games into RetroArch, and this is surprisingly very simple to do. We're just going to go down towards import content, and then press right on D-pad to go across, and down to manual scan content directory press a and then this is in my c drive if you've got an external drive connected it will likely say d or e or f or whatever i'm going to press a to go in here and if i press up on my d-pad i'm going to go to users and from here my system folder is called jamie for you it might be something different press a and then i'm going to go down to find my desktop folder press a now i'm going to find retroarch here's my retroarch folder i've got on my desktop and we should now find the ROMs folder, which I've just created in that RetroWatch directory. Press A. And I'm going to go into my SNES folder and go down one to scan this directory. Press A. Now you can see this location is now put into place. If I press up on my D-pad and press A on start scan, scan complete SNES. Now we're going to press B to come out and B again. And if we go down towards the bottom of the screen, we're now going to find SNES. If we try and open up a game, we've not got anything to support it. So RetroArch uses a system known as Cores. We need to download a core to play our SNES games. So right at the top, main menu, go across and we're going to go to online updater, press A. Core downloader, press A. And if we scroll right down towards the Nintendo section we're gonna find several different Nintendo cores here and the one is specific I'm going for is SNES 9X here it is if I press A core installed okay so what we're gonna do is back out by pressing B and again and we're gonna go down to configuration file which is under main menu and save current configuration press B and B again now if I head down towards my SNES folder with my games in I've imported, I'm going to then go down to Street Fighter 2. 
I'm going to run this. And here's our core. We just downloaded the SNES 9X core. Press A. And finally, we're going to press run. Okay, so that's it for today's RetroArch quick setup guide for beginners. So if you like the video today and you want to learn more about RetroArch, I've got a more comprehensive guide and I'm going to link that in my description. I've also got a whole playlist for RetroArch too. Anyways, if you like the video today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.